No doubt, waste has its health hazards. The prospect of turning waste into wealth has been optimized by residents of Mando in Kaduna State. A refuse packer, Mohammed Isa, said he clears refuse and also sell to local farmers as manure, even though he faced challenges when burning the refuse because people complain of smoke affecting them. I'm packing the refuse in order to make a living. But for quite some time, the refuse had been abandoned. While the residents decry of pollution affecting the area, they also complain that due to the poor waste disposal, roads are affected to rid their community of the hazardous refuse. Local farmers come to buy the refuse to use as fertilizer and as such turning waste to wealth. Sometimes you see... All these uh, fowls and other things, they patch it and they will, it can cause cholera to people. That's why you see most of the time, anywhere you see that cholera will be happening, some different different diseases will be coming, in the context of that, uh, leaving the uh, refuse state, overstay. Um, but if you go by what is happening in Nigeria today, you see the, the cost of fertilizer is too much. And by doing so, people are now result of packing the refuse in, just in the presence of uh, fertilizer. Because, because the, the, the real chemical uh, fertilizer is, is too cost. Using this manual, using this manual will, will, will result in getting less, less cost. That's why people prepare to get this manual and use it because, because the, the fertilizer is too cost. Nigerians continue to call on government and relevant stakeholders to come together to revive the waste recycle industry in order to extract useful materials and products to create employment for the teeming youths. According to the Federal Ministry of Environment, Nigeria generates over 32 million tons of waste annually, with plastic accounting for 2.5 million tons. Sadly, 83% of the total volume of land-based plastic waste ends up in the ocean and dams. San Magaj Mohammed Lib